Matthew 14 and 22. And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get unto a ship and go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitude away. And when he had sent the multitude away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. The example that the Lord Jesus Christ has set during his earthly ministry was the time that he spent with the Father alone. And every child of God is encouraged by the Scriptures to spend time with the Lord. The scripture says, they that wait upon the Lord, they that are with the Lord, talking to, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall not walk and not faint. And not only are we encouraged to spend time with the Lord alone, we're encouraged to spend time in prayer as a body of Christ, seeking the plan and the will of God. Press none together, being in agreement, seeing things done of two agrees, touching anything on earth it shall be done. We press on, we're waiting on the Lord, and we're ready for whatever comes along. Whether it's a command from God to go do something, or whether it's an attack of the devil, we are ready at all times. There used to be batteries called ever ready. I don't know whether you still get them or not. But as Christians, we need to be ever ready for whatever comes along. So Jesus is alone. The disciples are in the boat. It says in verse 24, But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, and the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, that's between six in the morning and nine, according to the Jewish tradition of that time. And if we keep our marker on there and just quickly go to Mark 6 and verse 47, just a little point that I want to point out there. The disciples are in the boat in the midst of a storm. Jesus is in the mountain praying. And it's night. It's dark. Mark 6 and verse 47. And when the evening was come, the ship was in the midst of the sea, and Jesus was alone on the land. The point that I want to make here in verse 48 it says, And he saw, Jesus saw them toiling and rowing, for the wind was contrary unto them. And about the fourth watch of the night he came unto them walking upon the sea and would have passed them by. The two points I want to make there, it was dark, the disciples were on a rough sea, and Jesus was alone on the land, but he saw them. Wherever you are today, whether you're in the midst of a storm, whether you feel all alone, God sees you. God has taken steps to counteract the attack of the devil. Be under no illusion that you're going through something that God doesn't know anything about, because he does. And the other part I want to point out here, he was, and he saw them toiling and rowing in the wind, contrary with, unto them, about the fourth watch of the night he came unto them walking upon the sea and would have passed by. They had a call upon Jesus. And when they saw him walking on the sea, they supposed it to be a spirit and cried out. For they all saw him and were troubled and immediately talked with them and said unto them, Be of good cheer, does I not 
be not afraid. We got to call on the Lord unto every situation. If we think we can handle a situation alone, He will stay out of it and let us do whatever it is we're going to do. But at the end of the day, if we want to be successful, we will call Jesus unto every situation. 